Hi, Tom English, and I want to wrap up uh, geometry with a lesson on symmetry. And symmetry means similar. In other words, we're, uh, uh, we talk about a point of symmetry or a line of symmetry, and the uniqueness of those is that they're identical on each side. Uh, for instance, in the case of a circle, any uh, diameter of the circle would be called a line of symmetry because it com it cuts that circle in half and uh, there would be an infinite number of of uh, uh, lines of symmetry just as there are an infinite number of uh, diameters. The center of the circle is also an example of a point of symmetry in that it is equidistant to both sides of the uh, circle. In fact, you can consider it as the point of symmetry being the halfway point between the sides. And in this case, uh, the center obviously is the uh, middle point of the uh, diameters. Now, in the case of an equilateral triangle, we know that each altitude drawn from each vertex would be a perfect line of symmetry because it cuts that triangle in half, doesn't it? Each one of those would cut it in, in half. Would the intersection of those also be a point of symmetry? Well, again, the definition of the point of symmetry, it's the midway between the line connecting the two sides. And in this case, it would not be because if we take this point to this point, you can see that it's more like uh, two-thirds, isn't it? It's one-third, two-thirds. So a point of symmetry in a triangle is much harder to, uh, to visualize. In this case, I've got a scalene triangle here. It's an obtuse triangle as well. And you can see that these uh, mid-segments uh, do not cut the triangles in half. Uh, so, in this case, there would be no lines of symmetry here, and I think you could be also realize you'd be hard-pressed to find a, a, a point of symmetry. In the case here of a rectangle, however, we have actually four lines of symmetry in that the uh, diagonals are lines of symmetry, they cut it in half, and also the vertical and horizontal uh, connecting those midpoints would be lines of symmetry. So you can actually show four lines of symmetry. In the same case, the point of intersection there would be a point of symmetry because it's the midpoint of these lines, isn't it? In fact, if uh, you think about it, we could uh, not just use the midpoints, but any line that we put through the middle of the circle or the middle uh, point there would end up being the midpoint of those lines. So this is a perfect example of a point of symmetry. And the same is true with a parallelogram. And of course the square is, is the same as a rectangle, isn't it? In that, uh, again, the diagonals and the lines connecting the midpoints are lines of symmetry. And in these cases also, the uh, intersection of those in the middle would be considered a point of symmetry. Any line that you put uh, at any angle here, as long as it goes through this point, will be uh, cut in half by that, that point. So, again, perfect examples of points of symmetry. Now here's a four-sided polygon that has no two sides equal. It's uh, uh, when you connect the midpoints with the opposite vertice, uh, you've got a scramble of lines here, and I hope you can see uh, quite obviously it is not a None of them are uh, lines of uh, symmetry. Uh, so when you've got an odd figure like that, you can almost guarantee you're not going to have any symmetry. So.
points of symmetry and lines of symmetry are an important concept. Uh, again, when your figures are pretty much uh, uh, equilateral, uh, rectangles, squares, parallelograms, you can have them. Uh, other four or five sided uh, polygons uh, will probably not have those. In a case of a, uh, a regular polygon of, let's say, six, eight sides, you probably will have uh, both lines of symmetry and a point of symmetry, uh, as long as they are regular uh, in all sides uh, being equal, all angles being equal. Okay, that kind of wraps it up for geometry, but please, if there's a part of geometry that I haven't covered or something you're a little confused on as you go through those, please send me an email. Uh, I'd be glad to, if uh, I need to correct a lesson or add to it or uh, even uh, put in a new lesson, I'd be more than happy to, to do that. Uh, the key is that we want you to benefit from these and uh, hopefully they'll supplement your classroom work. And uh, uh, the thing with the video, obviously, you can go back over it again and again, and hopefully uh, they'll be helpful. But if there's anything missing or anything that's confusing, please send me that uh, email at tom at mathtutoringforfree.com. Thank you.